All right, check it out. So, I'm looking at this tie rod. And I can just move it, you know. I think that's what's causing the clunking. I'm gonna change that. I just came back from O'Reilly's. AutoZone didn't have it, so I'm just gonna change the other one. Is doesn't move. It seems fine. But uh, this uh, this cheap eBay outer tie rod. I think it lasted. 30,000 miles so whatever yeah I need to get an alignment too after so let's get that taken out should be very easy got that that wrench to hold the tie rod in place unfortunately this inner one is has some play in it as well and that's why I don't I feel a little play just pulling back and forth on it but this one is is pretty bad so yeah I got that holding while I twist this off with a wrench I just gotta loosen it Give me a ring or a zip tie in the back. See, it's all. I can move it back and forth. It's there's no grease in it, so I think it's done. Okay, and how it, the inside of that looks it's it has a washer right there and it's bent yeah these it's bent downwards and you gotta punch it out okay if you feel inside there there's that washer is bent to keep it from turning so yeah punch that out then you can break it all right so rented this tool to get this inner tie rod out for this one it's this is the eBay tie rod so it may be a different size but this one is a one-fourth size so. I'm just gonna slide this over here There's these indents. You put that over. It may take like two hands to get it all in. Oh yeah, and uh, once you do that, you can, you can lock that into place by turning it like so. I need two hands for this, uh, yeah, like that. Okay. Alright, got it all up in there. With the breaker bar. Alright, so... I am... Making it so that the new one is nearly the same length as the old one that was aligned even though yeah these are these are different you see they're sort of yeah this eBay one is 
different. So I'm just making sure it's the same length. And then I'll adjust it when it's on its wheels. If it's like really bad, obviously I'm gonna do uh, tape measurements and all that. I wanna make sure these, these little indents on the washer meet up with these. Let me tighten it down. Okay, so I got that, that tool in there. I'm gonna slide this in there. It's gonna be torqued down to 54 foot-pounds. All right, and for that washer in the back, in order to, you know, bend it like that over the, oh, yeah, it's gonna be, sh it's gonna be like that. I already punched this out, but in order to bend it like that over the tie rod, I just, I'm just gonna use that and sort of, I might use the sway bar to push it and dent it in like that as well. So that's how I do it. Yeah, I have to use a bigger, bigger pry bar in order to, you know, bend those, bend that washer in. don't have any long zip ties on me so I just use just two short ones over this seems to work spray the little bit of the inside just the lip right here with some silicone spray so it just slides right in there all right I got it all hooked up in this this nut is torqued down to 55 foot pounds. Alright, and after that, set it up for an alignment.